What's going on YouTube? Curtis 7 here! I'm back with a bid! Yes, but lads! This video is about Manchester United being the champions of the FA Cup for 2016! Come on! But lads, let's be real here, it's the FA Cup. Now, me personally, I always used to be a big fan of the FA Cup when I was a kid growing up, but I just think along the way over the years, the new Wembley, it's kind of lost its shine, whether that be because, you know, the semi-finals are at Wembley these days, you know, whether that, you know, the, the kickoff's been pushed back to a later time, 5.30 kickoff, I think it was, it's kind of lost its shine, the FA Cup, but no matter what, lads, when you're in the FA Cup final, you want to win it. Me personally, being a United fan, I vividly remember the last two FA, Cup, uh, FA Cup finals we were in. A 1-0 loss to Chelsea in a boring, boring game, but the one that hurt me the most, 2005, the loss to Arsenal. We played Arsenal off the park. We were just peppering the goals. We hit the post a few times, I remember it, but we lost on penalties, Paul Scholes missed it, and uh, Arsenal were the uh, 2005 FA Cup champions. Lads, the last time we won the FA Cup was the year before that, 2004, can you believe? It's been 12 years since we, Manchester United, have won an FA a cup so today I was all for it the way the game started I was a little bit worried especially with Memphis not even being in the squad that had me really really concerned Fellaini starting Rojo left back I'm a fan of Rojo but not at left back he has got to be a center half so when Corn uh, Bournemouth Jackson wasn't even in the, uh, on, in the squad with Memphis I was really really uh, really worried about that but the way the game started lads it was it was like Typical of our whole season, really, wasn't it? We just had possession, 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 doing nothing with it, uh, with it. and you were just worried about Palace on the uh, counter-attacks, and they had, a they had two very good opportunities, uh, but th luckily for us, the Klattenberg, he had an absolute shocker. We went into halftime, lads, nil-nil, and I was, still, I was still upbeat about the FA Cup final. It was in our hands. Then the second half started. Now, Fellaini hits the post, and we're still dominating. We still have possession, so I was really upbeat. Martial wasn't even in the game, really. You know, fair play to Palace. They, they literally took him out of the game. Rashford, we weren't giving him enough service. Uh, but then the changes came through, lads, and then the awful thing happened. Jason Punchin scored for Palace with about 10, 15 minutes to go and I was just absolutely thinking no way are we gonna lose three FA Cup finals in a row but no yeah boys one matter equalized two or three minutes after uh, Padre did the uh, little dance and boy was I dancing 1-1 one, one. I knew once Fellaini chested that ball down once one matter scored the goal I knew this was ours for the taking it went to extra time and in extra time lads Chris Smalling got sent off and I thought oh no game changer now there's a lot of mixed opinions about Chris Smalling I'm not that asked about Chris Smalling getting that red card because I tell you what I think it was Balassi Balassi was off and where was Palace dangerous in this game on the breaks on the counter attacks if he had uh, gotten off there good chance Wolf Saha was gonna run down the other wing and they would have created a, a two-on-one situation and they would have put the ball in the back of the net so fair play to Chris Smalling taking one for the team and look the way it worked out Jesse Linga local lad scores the winner for Man United on the half folly and oh mate was I buzzing about that not the way I wanted the game to go but mate it's an FA Cup final you have got to do what you need to do to win now man of the match for me has to be Wayne Rooney I have not seen Wayne Rooney play with that that, I don't know, the, the intensity, just the pace, the raw aggression that he wanted to win that go, uh, that game. The way he set up the goal uh, for uh, one matter, he took on about three or four players, ran into the box, crossed the ball in, and Fellaini obviously chested it down for uh, one matter, but oh my god, Wayne Rooney. Man of the match for sure. So now Manchester United holds the record with Arsenal for the most FA Cup titles. And whether you like it or not, you have to say thanks to Louis van Gaal for that. Now, I'm not going to skip past the season, how, how, how piss poor our season has actually been. It's been absolutely terrible. The way Louis van Gaal uh, has mismanaged so many players at Manchester United in the last two seasons, it's, it's ridiculous. And one other thing I do want to say is, 
I'm not really happy with all this talk about Mourinho coming out on the same day we've just won the FA Cup final. Not even the same day, the same like hours just after lifting up the trophy. I, I, I am a, an advocate for Jose Mourinho coming in and doing a job for Manchester United. How can Louis van Gaal keep his job after the season we've just had? The way December worked, unexcusable. 46 goals this season in the Premier League. 46 goals! That is unexcusable for a club like Manchester United. I read a stat the other day saying that Man United have scored the least amount of goals at their home ground in the in all of England. The, all 92 clubs in all top four divisions. That 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 is unexcusable for a club like Manchester United. Saying all that. Louis van Gaal does need to go, but let him enjoy this FA Cup win. He has delivered it. He's, he, he had the balls to drop Memphis. He put in Lingard on the bench. Lingard came on. And what, and what a start Lingard, uh, what, what a season Lingard has had for us. And you got to say thanks to Louis van Gaal for that. Not just Lingard. Uh, Louis van Gaal has been the reason why, you know, he found Martial. He's found Rashford. All these youth players, Timothy Fosu Mensa. There's so many good young players thanks to Louis van Gaal that he's found Cameron Bourne with Jackson another one so let Louis van Gaal enjoy this FA Cup win let Louis van Gaal retire on his own terms because there's no way he's going to be starting next season for us and, and let this Jose Mourinho talk happen but in the next week or so or tomorrow not on the same day as we win, as we win the FA Cup but that's just my personal opinion but lads I'm stoked we have won the FA Cup. Oh, mate, it has been a long time coming. Season's still poor, uh, and I still might do a review on the actual season, the way we went, maybe month by month, do player reviews, because there's a lot of players that need talking points, whether we keep them, whether we sell, like Memphis. What's going to happen with Memphis? Not even in the squad for the FA Cup final. We're talking about a kid that, what? He scored, what, 22 goals last season for PSV? And now at Manchester United, he's just flopped. I don't think it's Memphis. I don't think it's he's that that poor from switching to the Premier League. You look at the record of uh, Louis van Gaal mismanaging the flair players. You know, look at Angel Di Maria. Look at Falcao, Robin van Persie, Nani. He just, he, he didn't give half these players a chance. Look at Hernandez. You know, oh man, it just breaks my heart to see that just so many good players, so many players with talent, and they're all just going to waste it from Louis van Gaal. So, that, all in all, I don't want to talk about that too much. It's more, this video is about the FA Cup win, which he had the balls to drop Memphis, and he delivered a title. And Wayne Rooney now, Michael Carrick, FA Cup champions, completes... You know, they're all, they completed the trophy list of what they wanted in England. All they were missing were FA Cups. Wayne Rooney, his third attempt at a final, and now he's done it. Same with Michael Carrick. They won the Champions League. They've won Premier Leagues. They've won, you know, the, they've won the, uh, the Club World Cups, but they just haven't won an FA Cup. They even won uh, Capital One Cups, but not an FA Cup. But today, Michael Carrick, and Wayne Rooney are now FA Cup champions, and that sits well with me. And on that note, lads, I'm your boy, Curtis Seven. Videos coming up soon. Uh, I'm going to get back into the swings of things, so don't you worry about that. Say subscribe and uh, follow me on Twitter. If you've got any questions for me about where I've been and all that, ask me on Twitter. Follow me on Instagram and all those wonderful things. But until next time, lads, I'm your boy, Curtis Seven. Take care. Hey, peace. Champion! Champion!